available. Perfect! When does everyone else get in here? I'm so hungry. They'll be here soon. I know. Let's have Norman's ghost story while we're waiting. Okay, but it's not a story. It really, really happened. Yes, Norman. Get on with it. It was a dark and stormy night, Halloween. The ghost of Pontypandy was wandering the empty streets, clanking his chains and howling. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like a puppy than a ghost. <clears throat> the ghost, all dressed in white, went up the hill to the house where he used to live. This house. He walked right through the wall and into the living room. Then he went up to the window and took off his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And he's standing there now, staring at you. Go on. I dare you to turn around and look. OK. Oh. <gasps> A fire at Mike Flood's house? There's a fire at the Flood's house, quick as you can! Is it Mike Flood's bonfire, sir? Probably. I expect it's got out of control. We're supposed to be going there after we come off duty. Yes, so uh, I might as well come with you. Well... Fire, is it, Mike? No, the fire's in the sitting room. Breathing apparatus on then, men. Good job we had that training exercise, eh, Elvis? Yeah. So, where's this other rocket come from, Sam? <gasps> Out of space. This has got Norman Price written all over it. This is your rocket, eh, Norman? Uh, no, yes, it was an accident. OK, but right now I need to know how you made your rocket. Is it made from anything dangerous? I, I can't remember. I just did what it said in here. Uh, just more of it. Hmm. You're sure you didn't put anything else in there? No, just that stuff. Lots of it. It's a simple bottle rocket. It's just a very big one. I think it's all going to be OK. I'm sorry. I thought I could build a rocket that was as cool as Mike's. Mike has spent years learning all about rockets and how to build them safely. It's not something you can learn in a day. I know, Sam. And now I've ruined Mike's launch, too. Not necessarily. Once we've made sure the shop is safe, there'll still be time to get up to the cliffs. Thank you all very much for coming. And a special thank you to the Pumpty Pandy Fire Brigade for being here to make sure everyone is safe. Here, here. So it just remains for me to say... Five, a four, three, two, one! <laughs>
Norman. Hey, remember you said you'd help me make a rocket? Yes, but you're going to have to wait a while, Norman. Why? I've got a certain supermarket window to fix first. Off you go, boy. There he is, everyone. The pride of Pontypenny. And Elvis. James, but we'll get into trouble. Who with? Everyone's outside watching radar. It Good boy, radar. He's got the boot. Oh, oh, he's got the boot. He's got the boot. Go, radar. He's so brilliant. Oh, that's lovely. That's enough, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to wear that boot. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Um, give me the boot back, Rita. <laughs> now, before the rooftop rescue, can I remind everyone to stand behind the rope? Safety first at Ponty Penny Fire Station. <laughs> can we go now? Don't you want to play, station officers? No. Uh, okay, worry pants. Oh, why don't we watch the rooftop rescue from the best seat in the house? Oh, okay. What? Up there? Yeah, beats being stuck behind a rope miles from the action. It's an emergency! There's a high-rise fire! But never fear, here comes Sam, Penny and Elvis to the rescue! Ooh. Oh, this is awesome! James, let's get a bit closer. I can't move. They'll be needing aerial assistance. Aha! Oh, Thomas, it is helicopter. to Penny. Oh, oh uh, yes, sorry, it is by Station Officer Steel to Penny. Yeah, yeah, we'll do, sir. We're on our way. <sighs> it's funny not going to an emergency in Jupiter or Venus. Well, they'd never get through all this deep water, Elvis. Right, we've got a bus to catch. <gasps> oh! uh, Penny! To hang on tight, Elvis. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> and keep your eyes peeled for Woolly and Lamekin. Where are they going? Woolly won't be in that direction. She'll be in the fields. <laughs> Don't worry, Woolly and Lammykins. Norman's coming to get you. <laughs> oh, come on, move, will you? <laughs> oh, that's more like it. Ooh. 
Am I glad to see you too? Tickets, please. <laughs> it's not often I give a ride to a bus driver. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think I'll keep to my timetable today. You haven't seen Woolly or Lamikins, have you, Trevor? Oh, sorry, Elvis. The only thing I've seen today is lots and lots of water. They must be out here somewhere. I brought you a nice cup of cocoa, Norman. Norman? Oh, no! He's not touched his eggy toast! Oh! He must have climbed out! Oh, the silly boy! doing out here? Ah, there you go. Now, where's Woolly? Oops. Oh, oh. Oh. Um, oh, sorry. sorry. Ouch! Ouch. Ooh. Ooh. You can go now. Uh, uh, just a few teething problems, sir. I'm sorry, Sam. I knew I'd let you down. You just need to get into a rhythm, Dillis. Say something to help you concentrate. A rhyme. Oh, what about... You always get more at the cut place store. Well, uh, let's give it a try. You always get more at the cut price store. You That's always it, Dennis. get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh, phew! This three-legged racing is hard work. Well, we can rest up. We're winning. And I know how we'll stay winning, too. Watch this. What are you doing? Shh! <laughs> Given up already, Norman. <laughs> uh, no, just giving you a head start. Yeah, come on, Elvis. It's this way. Oh. Stop yeah. hurrying, James. Yeah, that's it, you. That's pushing. You're pushing. You're fine. <laughs> and Mum and Sam will be miles behind. Well, that was a rotten trick. Like I said. There's no way I'm going to lose this race. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. <laughs> Easy peasy. <sighs> but the sign said this way. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh, yoo-hoo! Norman! <gasps> How did they get here? I thought you said you and Mam would be miles behind. Come on, I know a shortcut. Hey, I don't like all this cheating, Norman. I call it winning. Come on! You always get more at the cut price store. You always get more at the cut price store. Oh, well. oh. Norman and Mandy didn't hang around. We can, though, can't we? They can't hobble another step. OK. Let's rest here for a bit. Hey! I thought you were ahead of us. <gasps> so did we! <laughs> One of those signs pointed us in the wrong direction. Funny. We got here OK. Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. We are last again. The race isn't over yet, Dillis. Who knows what might happen? Oh, I can't walk properly. We should go back. What? And lose? I told you, Mandy, I want my name on that trophy. It... Oh! 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 I'm going to fly an SOS message all the way to Ponty Pandy. But you're not allowed to fly the plane in Ponty Pandy. But this is an emergency, Norman. I don't want to be in the air anymore. What are we going to do? Emergency situations call for emergency measures. Elvis, remember Dolly. She needs you to rescue her. Oh, Dolly, of course. I forgot all about her. Um, OK, Sam, Elvis to the rescue. Here I come, Dolly. Uh, easy does it. Ooh. 
What's that? Great fires of London! That'll be James Jones's plane again! <laughs> okay, Sam. It's all right, Dolly. I'll make sure you're safe first. Don't get off! Gotcha. Well done, Elvis. Oh, hey, there's a note. Oh, dear. James and Norman are stuck up a tree. We'd better get Tom to get you down quickly, Elvis. Penny, you man the station. I'd like to give James his plane back personally. rescue them the same way we rescue Dolly. Not this time, Elvis. We need to rescue Norman quickly. Then, James, you bring the tarpaulin and I'll bring the ladder. No problem, Sam. Hurry! I can't hold on for much longer. Just let go, Norman. We'll catch you. Uh, whoa! Oh, oh. Wow! That was fun. Stay calm, James. We'll have you down in a jiffy. Thanks, Sam. Oh. I believe this is yours, James Jones. Oh. You have arrived at your destination. Have a nice day. This can't be right. Oh, no. Oh, we're stuck. Uh, I don't feel well. Uh. I, I hate to be a wet blanket, but according to my tidal flowchart, the tide should be coming in any minute now. Oh, my God! So God. much for your oh, no. gizmos. I don't understand it. Satnav Sally is supposed to be foolproof. What are we going to do? Call Fireman Sam. You might be needing one of these station officers, Steel. Thank you, Trevor. Oh, 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 yes! At last! Stay calm, Elvis. This is your big moment, boy. Crab Scuttle Cove? Oh, my goodness! It, it's the bus. I'm stranded on the beach at Crab Scuttle Cove. And, 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 and the tide's coming in fast. OK. Penny and I will take Jupiter. Contact Tom and tell him we'll meet him there. <laughs> Leave it to me, Sam. And well done, Elvis. Nice work. We'll make a station officer of you yet. Station officer Cridlington. I like it. Maybe we should swim for it. Absolutely not. That's far too risky. We'll stay put and wait for help. In 200 yards, stay put and... Don't worry, everybody. Sam will be here very soon. My belly. Maybe he's seasick. Oh, my poor precious puppet. Aha! It's Tom Thomas. Help is at hand. Come in, Tom. Good night, Sam. Send down the winch. The bus is nearly underwater. We're going to have to lift everyone off. No problem. I'm lowering the double harness. Righty ho, Mandy. You first. Don't be frightened. Frightened? This is awesome! That's it, Tom. Steady now. I've got some Christmas lights and a CD player and. Oh, get a wiggle on! 
I thought you'd have it up by now. Norman, these things take time. We'll soon see about that. Oi, let go! Give it here! Oh. Oh. Well done, Norman Price. Well, this wouldn't have happened if you weren't such a slow coach, Pants. That's it. You can put it up on your own, you meanie. Fine. Go then. We don't need your help, do we, Wooly? Wooly? Uh. Smells like burning. <gasps> oh, no! The cake! Oh, Norman! I'd better call Fireman Sam. In the flood kitchen. Ooh. Kitchen fire at the flood's house. Action stations, everyone. Right. Now, where am I going to plug this in? Uh... The... It's the oven, Sam. A cake's caught a light. Don't worry, Mike. We'll take care of it. It's an electrical fire, Elvis. We need to cut the power first over there. Right, oh, Sam. Okay, Sam. Well, I think we can safely say that the cake is baked, Elvis. Oh, no! Mum's cake! My kitchen? You should never leave a hot oven unattended. But I set the timer on the cooker. Well, you obviously set it for too long. Oh, sorry. It's my fault too, Sam. I should have made sure he set the timer correctly. But what about my mum's surprise party? I got it so wrong. I was rotten to Mandy and Sarah. I wanted it to be so perfect, you see. Look, we've still got time, if you'll let us help you. I'll have another go, ma'am. Well done, Fireman James. That was good thinking. Thanks, Sam. One day, I want to be a real fireman, like you. I'm sure you will be. I saved Mike's keys, and, and then Sam called me Fireman James, like I was a real fireman. Wow! Really? Yeah, so I'm going to keep an eye out, just in case there's another emergency I can help out with. Uh, there. All done. That's all of the fire hydrants checked for another year. Oh, it's the radio again. Um, hello? 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 Station Officer Steele, are you there? I don't think he can hear me. Yes, Elvis. You have to push the button down when you talk and take it off again when you finished. Oh, right you are. In Hibbert Street, I repeat, Norman Price is stuck up a tree in Hibbert Street. Oh, did you hear that? I bet I could rescue Norman. I'm not sure. Sounds a bit dangerous, James. Ah, not for Fireman James. I just need to borrow Dad's ladder. Oh, oh. help! Oh. Help! Stay calm, oh, Norman. It's so hard. Stay calm. Oh, Dad, 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 Dad. Be here soon.
Well, James, I don't know how you did it, but you beat us to it again. Well done. Thanks, Sam. But you need to remember to be careful when you rescue people. Some jobs need to be done by trained professionals. OK, Fireman Sam. Ooh, time for lunch. Floods fry up. Now, let's see. I'll have some tomatoes, bacon, ooh, and some sausages. Oh, oh, hey, no, no, ah, I think I'm going to call Farm and Sam. <sighs> well, I'd better try and fish the pots out, then. <laughs> uh, no, sorry, Mike, no emergencies yet. No, if we need you, we'll call you. Yep, yep, bye. Good to see our reserves are keen. <laughs> ha, maybe a little too keen, Elvis. Come on. Ring, will ya? Ring, I'm ready and able. <sighs> Phew, that took a bit of doing. <laughs> OK, Charlie, all hands on deck. How shall I help? You could help check the pots for lobsters and crabs. Ooh, right now! Oh, uh, don't put your hand inside without looking first. You might get a nasty. Oh! <laughs> off, off, off! Oh. Uh, uh, here, let me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Shame. It was a big one. Charlie? I've, uh, not been much help, have I? Not really. You see, I don't know much about the ocean. I in fact, I'm not an expert sailor. Then why did you say so? Oh, uh, well, uh, because you all thought I was. I, I, I didn't want to let you down. So, uh, what are we going to do now, Captain? Fish. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Not a bite all afternoon. Bronwyn is going to be disappointed. Oh, well. We'd better be heading back. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good, Charlie. The fuel tank's empty. It's a good job I keep a spare can in the cabin. Well, um, really to then station officer steel. Oh! Oh! False alarm! Oh! Ha! Ah! Fire! Stay back, Charlie. I'll secure the area. Aim this at the base of the fire. Right, here goes. Ooh, hang on, I've got it. Yeah. It's just a horrible, stinky piece of lettuce. I think what we need here, Elvis, is a bit of teamwork. OK, Penny, I'll hold the torch while you tell Elvis which way to move the hook. Right a bit. No, no, left a bit. Nearly there. Oh, you got it! Now, bring the hook slowly up. Huh? <gasps> yes! Let me at that cake! Uh, I think I might be a bit lost. Um, <sighs> Which way is the right way? I'm sure I've been past that log before. Wait a minute. That looks like a red flower. Oh, it's just some old cloth. Oh, help! Whoa! Oh, help! Help! I'll 
bless your mum how tidy Derek is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Stink bombs? A fake fly? And if I'm not mistaken... <laughs> a surprise snake! Classic! Naughty old Derek. Underneath all that neat and tidiness, he's a joker just like me. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. I hope he's back soon so we can play with all this stuff. Actually, he's been gone for a long time. I hope he's okay. Maybe I shouldn't have made up that story about the Ponty Pandy Pansy. What if he's stuck in the mountains? He might be in danger. Oh, I'd better get Mum to call Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. No! Norman Price's cousin is lost in the mountains! Oh, the cake will have to wait. Boy lost in the mountains! Norman Price thinks he knows where he is. So, can you stop by the Cup Price supermarket and pick him up there? Taken Derek this way. <sighs> Looks like we're in for a quiet afternoon. I hope we don't have any fires. Smoke makes my singing voice croaky. La 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 stop that squawking and get on with your work. Sorry, sir. Oh. Now can we stop for lunch? No, Norman. I haven't seen my scarlet crested waggle warbler yet. No. Oh, I think I just saw one of those waggly warbling thingies. A scarlet crested waggle warbler? Where? Uh, over there, behind that tree. <gasps> Marvellous. You wait here while I go and have a look. Now, what shall I eat first? <laughs> Nothing there. You must have been mistaken. Come on. Oh, no. Sir, have I got a spot on the end of my nose? No, no, it, it looks it. Cridlington, you need to keep your mind on the job, not your nose. Job? Who knows? Maybe I won't be a fireman for much longer. <gasps> Won't be a fireman. But Trevor said I might be a famous superstar. Yes, but remember, while you're at work, you're a fireman first. Uh, when you're on the telly tonight, can you say a uh, big hello to your old pal, Station Officer Steel? Uh. I'm sure it went that way. I'll go and check it out. While I get stuck into the grub. Oh, looks like a storm. Time we were heading home. What about our packed lunch? This is no time to be thinking about food. But uh, you never got a picture of that bird. <sighs> Next time, maybe. Come on. <laughs> well, next stop, the TV studios. <laughs> well, Sam, if Cridlington leaves the fire brigade, We'll have to find ourselves a replacement. Did he really say he was going? Well, he was talking about not being a fireman for much longer. Something about becoming a superstar. Ah! This could get nasty. I'm calling for help. You know I don't want to see Elvis leave. Oh, yes. Hang on, Sam. But what about our adventure, Dee? I'm really sorry, kids. We'll do it another time. I promise. That's not fair. Yeah, Sam said he had a big 
surprise waiting for us at the end of the mountain trail. Hey, why don't I be the leader? Don't be silly, Norman. You need a proper grown-up to take you. <coughs> you need a leader who's strong and commanding. <coughs> Somebody murdy and Stanley. Ooh. I mean, sturdy and manly. <laughs> <coughs> I, I, I could take them, Dillis. Oh, Trev, of course you could. Would you like me to take you, kids? Great! Brilliant! What? Trevor leading the pioneers? No way! You can cope, can't you, Trevor? Sure. I'm a born leader, Dillis. Well, when our new born leader falls flat on his face, I'll get my chance to be in charge. <laughs> Keep up, everyone! Hang on, Norman! Not so fast! Oh, what's the big hurry? Now, let me see. We're here, so that must be Ponty Pandy, and uh, there's the harbour, and... Oh, no! Oh, dear. Great! Now we don't have a map! Yeah, well, who needs maps? All I need to do is follow my nose. Come on! We're going to start gathering up and making safe the crates, Tom. You see if you can spot any more. No worries, Sam. I'm on to it. One, two, three, hup. Come in, Sam. There's another couple moving about just to the south of you. Thanks, Tom. How's the situation at the beach? Yeah, it's sweet. Elvis and Charlie have everything under control. been this way before. Trevor said he was following his nose. Does it look like his nose knows the way, does it? <laughs> what are we going to do now? Now, James, we are going to eat our lunch. Hooray! I thought that would bring a grin to your chin. <laughs> OK, then. Who's got the food? We thought you had it. Me? No. I thought you had it. No. This is the worst day out I've ever had. Hey, hey, hey. Let's not get downhearted. We're still having fun, aren't we? But we don't have any lunch. Pah! Who needs lunch? I'll tell you what will cheer you up. Sweet that floor. No, not here. Sorry, sir. Off you go, shoo! <laughs> I think Lion likes you, sir. A fire station is no place for a cat. Anyway, shouldn't you be taking radar for his walk, Riddlington? It's on my to-do list, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Make better captains, and I'm a boy, get it? Well, I see they don't. Uh, hey, you lot, give me a hand. Look what Mum made us. Wow! I've never seen so many sandwiches. Come on, James. Let's leave the girly pirates to make sandcastles. We've got a ship to sail and treasure to plunder. I'll show them who's the best pirate in Ponty Pandy. Good riddance. What about the pirate's picnic? Leave that to me, me hearty. <laughs> Ooh, a meal for steel. <laughs> ah! Ooh, shoo! Take your eyes off my tuna sandwich. Don't you boys make better pirates? Let's plunder that treasure, James. Feels heavier. Let's get it back to the skiff. Great idea, Mandy. Yes. They're going to get a shock when they open the pirates' picnic. 
Hutton, Sarah. <laughs> Sure, we should go out alone, Captain. Aye, the sea be calm, and the girls will never get to us out here. It's what proper pirates do. <sighs> you know, I'm tired out. <sighs> Me too. <sighs> so I'll be taking a pirate's nap. War. <laughs> I wonder what the emergency is, Radar. Ooh. He's up there! OK, we'll soon have him down. Can you take me up, Elvis? right -o, Penny. Okay, Penny. I'm fine. It's just a sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry, Lion. Hooray! Thanks, Penny. Thanks. No problem. You sound dreadful, Penny. Should you be at work? It's Sam's day off, so I'm needed at the station. It's just a sniffle anyway. Come on, Elvis. Let's get back. Phew. Drama over. Now, who fancies a spot to fishing? Oh, yes, Dad! Yes, please! Hold on. We'd better get rid of this lot properly first. Here you go. Mm. Thanks. All aboard, then. What's that smoke, Dad? You did make sure that barbecue was out, didn't you, Charlie? Oh. A dustbin is on fire at the Ho Fish Cafe. Another emergency. Shame I'm not on duty. But I must get this digging finished. We're sorry to call you out again. Oh, no problem. There's a barbecue tray in here. Yeah? But I poured a bucket of water on it to put it out. It's always best to check it's fully out to be on the safe side. As soon as you get back to the fire station, Elvis, make Penny a hot honey and lemon drink. Good idea, Bronwyn. Oh, stop! 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 Oh! Rita! Come back! Here! Oh, we'll never catch them now! Was close. Oh. Oh. oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! Are you okay? Yes, I I I'm fine, but I can't get out. I should have fixed the door. You need to call Fireman Sam. Oh no! I've left my phone at home. I know. We'll send Rita. Um, go and get help, Rita. You know. Sam was right. Radar's a brilliant rescue dog, not a sheep dog at all. Oh. Radar, what are you doing here? Where's Mandy and Norman? Is something wrong? I'm going to call Fireman Sam. Oh, 
Norman and Mandy in trouble? Ooh. Radar has come back to the Nuts house by himself. Helen thinks there's been some kind of accident. If I know Radar, it must be serious. Tell Helen to keep Radar there. We're on our way. That was close. I wonder if those sheep have got something to do with the emergency. Any idea where Mandy and Norman were going, Helen? Mandy said just over the fields. Radar wants us to follow. I'll take the ambulance. Somebody might be hurt. Well done, Radar! You did it! <laughs> That's Mike! Sounds like he's in trouble. <laughs> Great fires of London. Help! Get me down! Hang on, Mike. I just need the ladder. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got him, Sam. Well done, Trevor. Oh, I, I can't hang on much longer. Oh. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. Thanks to Sam. Thank goodness. And did you get a chance to fix my gutter in? Well, what do you think? Is that it? Eh? Uh, no, of course that's not it. Um. What he needs is a nice big mug of sweet tea. Oh, I'll have one if you're brewing up, Dillis. What? Oh, no! I must have left the heartbreak off! Stand back! <sighs> well done, Sam. You saved the day! Again! Lucky you were off duty. Well? Well, um, watch this! Oops! Excitement over. Back to work. Yes. Time for me to get on with all my little jobs. Help! I'm stuck! Norman! Oh, someone else in trouble. Help! Mom! I can't move my feet! Oh, my! What have you gone and done now? It's the quick-drying cement. It only takes a few minutes to set. Don't worry, Norman. I'll get you out. Sorry, Mum. All I ask for is a bit of peace and quiet. That sounds like a smoke alarm. And that sounds like an aerosol can. Oh! Whoa! What's the rush, Mandy? Oh, I found a whale on the beach! What? Actually, on the beach? Oh. It must have got washed up by the high tide. We've got to keep it wet and get it back in the water somehow. But it's massive! Then we'll need lots of help. I'll call Fireman Sam. OK, everyone. Say cheese. Ah, ah sorry, Trevor. <coughs> A whale on the beach? 
beached. Mandy's found a whale on the beach. You better get down there, Sam. Looks like we'll need Venus for this job. Can you follow us, Penny? No problem, Sam. We're going to have to be quick, Elvis. A whale needs to be in water, not stranded on a beach. Sorry, Trevor, but a fireman is never off duty. Unless he's, um, off duty. Shame. I was looking forward to taking everyone's photograph. I don't suppose I can take a few of you, station officer Steele? Well, uh, <laughs> I suppose a quick snap wouldn't be out of the question. <laughs> I wonder how many Mandy did catch. <laughs> Apart from her whale, a starfish, a crab. Is that all? <laughs> Sam. Quick, Sam! The whale needs help! Go on, Penny, you better get down there. Lead on, Mandy. Oh, I hope the whale is all right. Are you sure it's not a shark? Yes, it's a whale. And whales are gentle creatures, Norman. Sam? How are we going to get it back into the sea? High tide is hours away. Oh, I know. We can roll it in. It's too heavy, Norman. And it might get hurt, silly. It will be okay, won't it, Sam? Have I ever let you down, Mandy? No. We're going to need Neptune, Penny. Okay, Sam. Hello, Tom. That leak looks quite serious. Don't worry, I'll fix it at the same time as I do the doorknob. Oh, thanks, Mike. Can I leave you to it? I want to go and see if Trevor has any Jefferson fire truck songs I can sing on the karaoke. <laughs> of course, Bronwyn. I'm looking forward to singing late to myself. Oh, uh, Bronwyn, can you grab that bucket behind you? Yeah, that one. Uh, can you put it by the door to stop me getting locked in? Yeah, I'll fix the handle later. Here we go. Cheers, love! La la la, la 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 la. Ooh, I like that beat. Ooh. Ah, I can practice my music and fix the leak both at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, I mustn't forget that doorknob. Oh dear! Um, oh, it's more than a leak now! I'm trying to remember the name of the song I wanted to sing. I think it had the word potato in it. I don't know any songs about potatoes. Or maybe that was who sung it, hmm? Oh, uh, I can't find me rubber stopper. It, it, it's in here somewhere. Oh, ah-ha! There. Now, that doorknob. Where's my screwdriver? Ooh, what's that rumbling noise? Ow! Oh, that didn't work. Oh, what on earth am I going to do? Righty-ho, sir. Ready to start the exercise. Who oh can? Oh my! Help me! I'm a little old lady stuck behind a jam door. We, right. Oh the first goodness. thing we have to do is calm oh her dear. down. Oh yeah! What? So we I need to stop know. her panicking. Oh but above oh all, oh we oh need oh to stay oh calm oh and do one thing oh at a time. Oh I'm sorry, oh Sam. I can't hear you. Oh Neither oh can I. <coughs> How am I doing? Very good, sir. But maybe a little too loud. I'm a distressed old lady in an emergency situation. Of course I'm loud. Now stop whittering and get on with rescuing me. <sighs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, I, I know. I'll turn the water.
water off at the mains. Uh, now, where's the water supply tap? Oh, oh, that's upstairs. Um, Don't you have to keep canisters away from the fire, sir? That's right, Sam. If they get too hot, they can explode. Is it nearly time to go to the barbecue yet? Well, who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy? Oh, it's so difficult to decide. I'm still hungry. Maybe I should eat a bit more. Then I'd really know which one tasted best. And we'd like some too. We're starving. Oh, no worries, Bronwyn. I can cook you up some king prawns faster than Trevor can cook his sausages. We'll see about that. Just turn up the gas and I can cook even faster. Wow. That's very clever. It's not that clever. All I have to do is put on some more charcoal and I can cook faster too. No problem for me. I just turn up my gas to the max. I'll just put all the charcoal on in one go. Then I'll really be cooking. I'll show you who's the barbecue champion of Ponty Pandy. Ah, uh, mate, I think you might have overdone it. Huh? Oh! Oh, no! Stand back, Norman! Oh, we'd better call Fireman Sam. Oh, Tre Trevor Evans Barbecue has set fire to a tree. There's a barbecue blaze at the picnic area. I hope you are all paying attention in this morning's lesson. Well, Elvis, it looks like you'll be eating those sausages sooner than you thought. I just hope there's some left. I think we're going to need two hoses for this one, Penny. OK, Sam. OK, Elvis, turn on the water. <laughs> Sam, look, there's one of those gas canisters. It might explode. Well spotted, Elvis. Keep everyone at a safe distance while we get the blaze under control. Right you are, Sam. Everyone back, please. Penny, keep spraying the gas canister to keep it cool while I put out the rest of the fire. Don't worry, Sam. I'm on it. Can we just get going, Trevor? I'm sorry, Dillis. But we're stuck. Stuck? Stuck? Well, I had to swerve to avoid hitting some animal. The ground is really boggy out here. Oh! We're macaroned! Easy, Dillis. I'll phone for help. Uh, oh, there's no signal. You mean we can't get help? Oh! What are we going to do? The animal Trevor nearly hit could have been... The wild beast. Oh, that is not funny, Norman. Don't worry, James. Someone's bound to realise we're missing. So we're not exactly talking about an emergency here, then, Bronwyn. I'm sorry, Sam. I just wish Lion wouldn't keep running off like this. It's not unheard of for cats to wander off for a couple of days. He could be anywhere. Out there. All alone. Look, I'll keep a special eye out for him. I'm sure he'll come back when he's hungry. Yes. Yes, you're right, Sam. Oh, talking of hungry, I'd better get the twins supper on. They should be back from their school trip any time. Oh, it's no good. I'll flatten the battery if I keep this up. I want to go home. What if no one comes? Ever? What are we going to eat then? Oh, I don't want to be a cannonball. There's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to raise the alarm before it gets too dark. But Trevor, you can't go out there all alone. What if you get lost? Or if the wild beast gets you? It says in my 
indoor training book, never leave a stranded vehicle. Stay together and wait for help. It could be hours before someone finds us, and I'm starving. No lion. And now no James and Sarah. Where is everyone? Just a bird. <laughs> oh, hello? Hello? Who's there? Pull yourself together, Trevor. Oh. Ah! Ah, my feet are stuck! Ah! Stuck in the muck! Ah! Help! Stop, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way 